Well, good morning, Northern Michigan, from your National Weather Service right here in Gaylord. Welcome to your latest hazardous weather briefing for both Northern and Lower and East Upper Michigan. Today is Monday, the 16th of December, 2013. Well, much like the last couple months, actually, we are still concerned about accumulating lake effect snow, the first round of which will occur this afternoon into the evening hours. And that will focus along the Lake Michigan shore with the highest impact and the greatest potential for heaviest snow across western and central sections of Mackinac County. Once again, that will be this afternoon and evening with the heaviest snow probably falling after 4 p.m. this afternoon. When snowfall rates could easily approach and exceed 1 inch per hour, this will result in reduced visibilities and slick roads. And then another round of accumulating lake effect snow is expected in the more traditional snow belts of eastern upper and northwest lower Michigan. And that will occur Tuesday night. And much like the last several days, this will result in reduced visibility and slick roads. And finally, still concerned about some ice jam flooding with the long cold spell we have been in. This will occur across all of northern Michigan through this week with impacts yet to be determined on a case-by-case -case basis if rivers do indeed flood. Taking a look at the current weather map, well you can see the cold front extending across the central parts of lower Michigan. This is the same front that was responsible for some rather phenomenal lake effect snow yesterday when some areas across the traditional snow belts of northwest lower Michigan including here at the office exceeded well over a foot. Now that front has dropped south of northern lower Michigan with the winds more northerly now and bringing some much lighter lake effect snow showers into the Grand Traverse Bay region. Now looking right off to the west you can see a warm front stretching across the northern plains. This is the system that will race east in Alberta Clipper and this will bring the winds around to the southwest rather quickly this afternoon with plenty of cold air still across the Great Lakes that will result in that lake enhanced snow threat for the lakeshore Lake Michigan shore areas of both eastern upper and far northwest lower Michigan. Otherwise this system does not have a whole lot of moisture to work with and away from the lake effect areas we can see accumulations on the order of one to two inches and that will be mainly tonight. Take another weather story graphic you can see these somewhat heavier snow in Mackinac County and down near uh, from about uh, the Sleep and Bear National Lakeshore down to Manistee. That will be the main impact areas for this afternoon and the overnight hours. Otherwise, another, like I said, general one to two inches elsewhere. And you can see that here in the hazards with the lake enhanced snowfall locally heavy in parts of northwest lower and eastern upper Michigan this afternoon and evening. Once again, the greatest impact is expected around central and western Mackinac County. Then we have the next round of accumulating lake effect snow in the more traditional snow belts Tuesday night, possibly bringing several more inches, and the threat for ice jam flooding continues across all area rivers through this week. Now this concludes the hazardous weather briefing for this morning. Thanks again for taking the time to listen. Your next update is expect around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.